Rooster Teeth News is brought to you by NatureBox. Snack smarter with French toast granola, sweet blueberry almonds, and more. Get 50% off your first order when you visit naturebox.com slash roosterteeth. Now, oh, what's up, guys? I'm Ashley Jenkins, and new details are incoming for Infamous Second Son, the PS4 exclusive, due for release next month. As in previous Infamous titles, you'll have the ability to choose whether to use your powers as a conduit for good or evil, and the consequences of your choices are amplified more than ever in the newest entry in the series. As an example, in one mission, you have the opportunity to redeem or corrupt a fellow conduit who's gone vigilante over Seattle's drug trade. If you redeem this character, you can join in on the fight and set off on a new branch of activities to track down and destroy the drug kingpins. If you decide on a path of corruption, you instead set off on a violent spree against anti-conduit protesters with little regard as to whether those that get in your way are guilty or not. Once you set down a path, you'll be rewarded for taking actions that reinforce your decisions and penalized for being wishy-washy and contradicting yourself. And the way you act will manifest in ways both small, like shifting the dominance in the birds on Delson's jacket, and large, like unlocking powers suited to your emerging alignment. Take the path of the righteous superhero, and the abilities you unlock will help you avoid harming the innocent, or if you decide that, in the words of Spaceballs, good is dumb. Your skills will be powerful but unfocused. Game director Nate Fox explains, If you're a good guy, you get more surgical strike abilities to fight the enemy and avoid civilians. If you're bad, you get more indiscriminate powers, you're just all about mayhem. Delson's conduit abilities allow him to absorb neon and release the energy back, either through combat with bursts of light that can kill or incapacitate, or through movement like running up the sides of buildings and leaping across dizzying gaps between roofs. Though not really shown yet in the trailers, he can also use smoke to his advantage, though what other conduit abilities he might access remains Sucker Punch's secret for now. Next, Mist is going on 21 years old, but that hasn't stopped creator Cyan from revisiting the world and releasing a new version, Real Mist Masterpiece Edition. Mist is no stranger to touch-ups. In 2000, Cyan released Mist Masterpiece Edition, which replicated the original 8-bit color game in 24-bit color and remastered the score, sound effects, and cinematics. Later that same year, for some reason, Real Mist Interactive 3D Edition came out and made the classic Mist environments fully explorable in 3D. Not to be confused with either Mist Masterpiece Edition or Real Mist Interactive 3D Edition, Real Mist Masterpiece Edition is fully interactive like Real Mist, but also adds day and night cycles, which the point and click puzzle game was really missing, and changes in weather. Senior software engineer Jason Calvert says, the idea was to provide an uncompromising 3D experience with a simple point and click interface that made the original Mist accessible to anyone. Last October, Cyan launched a successful Kickstarter for a spiritual successor to the Myst series called Abduction, with an O, a point-and-click adventure puzzle game planned for release in 2015. Finally, Double Fine is honing in on their projects for this year's Amnesia Fortnite. Every year-ish, the studio's developers take a break from whatever they're doing, slacking in other words, and spend two weeks building prototypes for new ideas, some of which go on to be developed into full games. Previous Double Fine games that have come out of this two-week jam include Stacking, Host and Quest, Hack and Slash, and their current early access title, Space Base DF9. And this is the second year that the prototypes to be created are decided by audience participation. You pay whatever you want to contribute, vote on the titles you want to see prototyped, and once the prototypes are completed, you get to play them. If you beat the average contribution, which right now is $6.99, you also get to vote on which idea you'd like to see made from special guest project lead and Adventure Time creator Pendleton Ward. This year's initial pitches included a point-and-click adventure game inspired by classic slasher movies, a game dev pet simulator, a despotic rulership sim in a post-revolutionary republic, a horse-for-hire game about saving inept heroes, a third-person space western, Star Fox meets Shadow of the Colossus in space, with pizza, a cat-based platformer through space-time, a dim sum dining simulation, Ikaruga meets ridiculous fishing, and other crazy concepts. Voting so far from more than 15,000 participants has narrowed the field to 10 finalists, and voting closes in less than a day. And that's the news for today. If you do end up voting on Double Fine's Amnesia Fortnite, what game do you most want to see made? Let us know in the comments. Then check roosterteeth.com tomorrow for our gaming podcast, The Patch, if you missed our live stream today.